Hey everybody. So I was super excited last month. We did the version 10 software upgrade in my Model 3 and I was so excited about it that I didn't even wait to get home and connect to Wi-Fi. I tethered it to my phone and downloaded everything and took the hit on my data and all that. So great update. Tesla did a lot of new cool stuff. Unfortunately, most of it was like entertainment based. So we got Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, uh, some new version of Cuphead, you know, stuff like that. So from the entertainment aspect, really awesome. Then that latest software update that came in last week, 36.2.1. I've never been so excited. This one is awesome. So I am enjoying Spotify driving around, I gotta say, but this new update, um, we got 5% more power, which is incredible that they can do that over the air. And then on top of that, the regenerative braking, which you know I'm a super fan of, got way, way better. So the car actually can come to a complete stop now if you uh, lift your foot off the accelerator pedal. So I never even move my foot over anymore unless I'm really at a high rate of speed and coming to a stop. The other weird update that I thought was cone detection. And people seem pretty pumped about this. Like, no one's talking about the regen braking. Few people are talking about the power improvement. But all the posts I'm seeing are about these orange cones. So, orange cones are showing up on the car icon thing on the left side of the navigation screen. And it's basically just showing you where there's orange construction cones on the road. Personally, I can see those pretty well myself. I mean, they're bright orange, got reflective stuff around them. It's neat the color popping up on the screen, but I kind of wish it detected people a little bit better. So maybe I'll show you an example of that as I'm driving around. It's kind of cone season here in Chicago anyway with all the construction going on and all the potholes. So we'll see how that shows up. But man, the posts on it, like on Facebook and Instagram, everybody's loving these cones. So anyway, I'm gonna show you cone detection and then I'm gonna do a quick demo on the updated uh, regen braking, which super fan, I freaking love it. So, all right guys, let's see if we can find us some cones. Okay, let's take a quick look at how you actually set up the regen braking in here so it stops when you lift your foot off the accelerator pedal. So in your driving menu, gonna go to driving and then your stopping mode down here and the car has to be in park for you to adjust any of this but now you have this option for hold rather than creep or roll so when you push the hold button um, when you lift your foot off of the accelerator the car will come to a complete stop and hold at a stop sign or stop light so for me anyway that's been super beneficial i'm not moving my foot back and forth it makes the car like so much easier and more fun to drive if you can believe it so that with the extra five percent power hell yeah thank you tesla all right so let's uh give it a whirl and see how it works i've got you guys set up on my patented uh two camera system here all right got one foot resting comfortably on the dead pedal the other foot right on the accelerator Gonna shift into gear and let's see what this does okay and we're underway what are the chances we hit a green light right off the bat there's no green lights here every light I always hits red it's crazy all right here we go this one's easy, we're not even going that fast, like 22 miles an hour. I'm lifting my foot on the accelerator, and check it out. Like before I'd have to move my foot over to the brake at five miles an hour, where at zero, just goes to hold, I haven't touched the brake. This is amazing, it's like magic. So I think we finally caught up to Nissan Leaf technology here, because their e-brake does this already. But I'm glad Tesla can just make a software update, push it out to us, and we suddenly have it. It's really amazing. Oh cool, I see some uh, orange cones up front too. So we can go check those out. So doing it again, lifting my foot, just barely, complete stop. Mm. So restful and easy. Absolutely love it. 
So right now we're down in South Loop in Chicago. We're at the corner of Michigan and 16th. Cool loft buildings down here. Pretty close to Soldier Field. Lakes in front of us, about a quarter mile or so. So pretty cool. All right, so this cone detection thing. My question is, why aren't people wearing orange clothes <laughs> with reflectors on them. We'd see them all over the place. I guess the gripe is when I see the orange cones pop up and there's people by the orange cones, I think I should be able to see the people. I've had no problem vision wise. Like I see these orange cones up here. They're a couple blocks away and I can see them very clearly. They aren't on my screen yet because the Tesla camera doesn't go up that far. But as we get closer, we're gonna start seeing them. Oh, there were some on the right, that's cool. Oh, we have a whole plethora of cones up here. Let's see what it does. This is like Conapalooza. Oh, check them out. Ha ha. All right, that looks super cool on the screen. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to drive straight through there. Looks like some construction stuff going on. I'm actually gonna turn left here. Rather than be a complete a-hole. Well, got the construction guy saying, hell no, you're not going that way yet. We got a person crossing the street. Let's see if they pop up. And this is a really good example. So we've got people, and this guy, he's wearing like a green vest. He showed up just fine. Thank you very much. Now it's my turn to go, thank you sir. And all these cones. I should post this on Facebook, people would love this. Cone City Cone Out. And one dude, and he does not show up. So he's not one of the cones. And he was even wearing a reflective vest. So I guess I retract my former statement of people wearing orange clothes with reflectors on them thinking they'd show up. That guy didn't even show up. One other test I think we need to do, this 5% power upgrade. I have not tested it yet. Um, pretty excited to check it out though. So, let's do it. My turn to go. Whoa, freak. Okay. Literally, it knocked the camera out of my hand. I don't know if that's right or not, but we're gonna have to test that again. Holy crap. Seriously, it, uh, it lifted the camera and threw it right off the top of the tripod. Yow. Okay, luckily I had another camera handy. Two camera system, it's really paying off today. We're back, test number two. So, I'm finally first at a stoplight, um, that's always the best place to be, pole position. So let's try out the new acceleration. I uh, got the camera cinched down a little bit better this time on the tripod, and we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it doesn't go flying into the back seat again. All right, light's about to change. Here we go. Oh God, holy shit. Wow. That's unbelievable. Like literally every other car, they didn't know we were racing because we weren't. Every other car got left in the dust back there. The pull is unbelievable. Like incredible before, but I could actually feel it and I didn't think I'd be able to. Um, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. And look, cones, more cones. This is so exciting. Those are actually barrels. They appear as cones. Some people complained about that, believe it or not. You know what? I can see them just fine. I can actually see them easier in real life than on this screen. So, anyway. Woo! This thing rocks! Good job, Tesla. Alright, taking the Navy Pier exit. If you've ever been to Chicago as a tourist, you probably came here to Navy Pier. You know what? That's probably a good spot to end this video. Thank you guys for watching once again. Um, really appreciate you. And signing out for now. I got a big smile on my face. That was super fun. 
freaking love this car. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.